Well, here we have the green and green piece of furniture with the highest price tag of any piece they made, made by the Hull brothers, of course. It's the, what they call the chiffonier or chest of drawers for the mother-in-law's bedroom of the Gamble House. Uh, amazing creation by Charles Green that I was able to copy. Um, theirs is mahogany, which is a nice, beautiful, quiet look. This is walnut, a mixture of uh, Clara walnut for these drawer, uh, this cabinet of entrance, and English walnut, and then again, Clara walnut at the top. Uh, that gives mine a much more flamboyant exterior. I don't, I wouldn't know how to pick between those two. They're both great. But the design, of course, is all Charles Green's genius with these beautiful little ribbon handles. The finger joints, like I said earlier, they don't, didn't use dovetails very often. I did a pretty good job of getting nice smooth pulls on these here, all these little drawers here. And if you're a little on the short side, you can turn this mirror like that. If you're a little taller, you can go up like that. Uh, and they, again, this Tsuba, the Japanese sword guard design by Charles Green's idea. The original has this amazing scrolling vines and flowers inlaid with silver wire, abalone, and uh, discretion being the better part of valor. I didn't want to get into that. There's plenty enough to look at in this piece. Book match these two pieces, of course, and then inside have a nice light wood to look at. And uh, whatever's going to go in there, and the drawers, of course, as I said, the key thing is getting the space right. The drawer will not be a problem. There it is. And uh, this was a, a difficult piece. The, the sides are put together in many segments rather than just have a plane. So there's some work there. It's a heavy piece, but uh, it's a... a, a a piece that I think captures everybody's attention and certainly Charles Green put his heart into this one.